Okay, so uh, we've got this nicely put together. I'd like you to uh, refactor this code to uh, use a scanner to ask the user for the sale price. And then, uh, so I'm going to refactor this a little bit and put this up there. And so then I'm going to get rid of that. He's a so I'll do a little pseudocode up here. So the first thing you need to do is create a scanner object. Then I'm making my little English prompt user to enter price. Then I'm going to read in price from user and store in sale price. I deleted my initial value of sale price, or I can change it to zero. See if you can get this coded up. I need scanner. Yeah. Uh, I need prompt user enterprise. Whenever it breaks, I just I pull out the hard drive, redo it, and use the flash drive as the side score. And I think that's what it has in the It is so much trying to And then I just do it a fourth time, the exact same way, and it works. You're dealing with 15-year-old technology, my friend. Make, if you make a, um, a spreadsheet of all this time, I'll pay you for it. Sale price, S dot next, double. Okay, let's see it. Enter price and press enter, 100. Ooh, that's cool. Now let's make sure it works with all sorts of other things. $2,300. I get a sale price of 2472 dollars Hey, this is pretty great. We have made a tool that works on data whose value was not known at runtime. That's what makes programs useful, is they can deal with data. You can use a variable container to store data that you haven't seen yet, and you can manipulate it.